Hey everyone, welcome to the first Thursday video here on my channel. This is my fall capsule wardrobe series and today I'm going to be looking back at my spring and summer capsule wardrobe to kind of see what I learned from that and the things that changed throughout it. So let's get right into it. So my spring capsule wardrobe was my first capsule and it was definitely a learning process for me. I was learning that I didn't need to be shopping constantly to be happy and I was learning kind of how to navigate the clothing that I was going to need for this new job that I was starting in the spring, as well as how I was going to kind of mix that with the clothing that I was going to wear on the weekends. The major thing for me though was changing the habit of shopping when I was bored or shopping for a pastime, and it's been really, really nice. So I got a lot of use out of most of the items in my wardrobe. There were a few things, however, that I didn't wear at all, so I ended up switching them out. And there were also a few things that were damaged during the duration of my capsule, so I needed to switch those out as well. The first piece that was damaged was my favorite pair of light wash cropped denim. So I actually picked them up on eBay several years ago, and they were from Urban Outfitters originally, but they were the perfect cropped pair of jeans. The thing is, they, were, they weren't great quality. They had kind of stretch in them, and because I had worn them so much, they were, there were holes in the knees, and towards the kind of middle part of my capsule, you could really tell that the stretch in the fabric was getting all stretched out, and they were getting really thin, and honestly, I was scared that I was gonna sit down one day and they were gonna totally rip, so I had to get rid of them, and I ended up just switching them out for a similar pair of light wash denim that's not as soft, but hopefully they'll become my favorite pair eventually with wear. I also had a pair of denim shorts that I replaced. I've had them for a really long time and I used to wear them a lot, but honestly, I just feel like they needed to be like a half an inch longer in the back for me to be comfortable in them at this point in my life. So I ended up switching them out for a pair of tailored black jeans that were a little bit high-waisted and they had buttons down the front. And I liked those because I was able to wear them to work actually if I dressed them up a little bit and then I could also wear them on the weekend. So they kind of were dual purpose and they fit me a lot better than my other shorts did. The same thing happened with this white skirt that I had in my capsule. It was a shorter kind of skater style skirt and it was a little bit see-through but I just added it to this capsule because I had it and I felt like I needed you know, another skirt option, but I ended up donating it and replacing it with this amazing white denim skirt that I actually picked up at Goodwill. It was too big, but I took it to my tailor and got it altered, now fits me perfectly, and it's much more, I mean, it's longer, it's a little bit high-waisted, and it's much more my style, so that's been something that's been really cool about capsule wardrobe dressing is that I feel like I've really kind of defined my style, and it's much more classic than I thought it was at the beginning of all of this. I had a Vince tank top that was gray that I wore in one of my capsule combination videos, and I had to replace that because I lost it. I honestly have no idea where it went, and it just, I've just been racking my brain trying to figure out where I would have lost a shirt, but it's gone, and it was a bummer because I loved that outfit. I wear that a lot, kind of my high-rise jeans with the shirt tucked into the side. It was such a fun look, but I was actually able to find a similar gray tank top on eBay that was originally from Madewell, so I purchased that. That's going to be in my fall capsule as well, um, but yeah, I'm bummed that I lost that tank top. The last item that I switched out during my capsule was my long sleeve red and navy top. Honestly, I didn't wear this at all, and I thought that I would really like it, but I think that it was just a little bit too casual to wear it to work, and then on the weekends, I would just kind of gravitate towards my vintage band shirts because they were a lot softer. So I donated that top and actually replaced it with this striped shirt that I wear way too much, and I think this one's better for me because I like the neckline a lot better. It's, again, more classic than kind of the off-the-shoulder thing, and I like the short sleeves, and I just like the shirt better, so there that is. My most worn items in my last capsule were my black denim that was high-waisted, striped shirts, my gray shorts, and my knitted white tank top. The items that I hardly ever wore, if at all, were my vintage Dior burgundy sweater because it was super itchy and warm. Basically all of my jackets, 
and all my dresses surprisingly. So I've been rethinking having dresses in my capsule, especially for the fall, because I've realized that I really like working with separates a lot better. And it might just be kind of the cut or fit of the dresses that I had, but I honestly didn't reach for them at all. So I have that in mind now, and I'm keeping that in mind when I'm kind of getting my fall capsule together. Another thing I should mention is when I started my spring capsule, I was thinking that I was going to make a completely new summer capsule, and it turned out that I didn't need to do that. I made a few updates, like I've been telling you, switching out a few things like shirts and shorts, and I even bought a new kind of printed skirt that I shared in my Closet Confidential video. But those small changes kind of helped me feel like I didn't need to create a full new capsule for summer. Honestly, the weather doesn't change that much here in Southern California, so I felt really content with the stuff that I had. Speaking of my fall capsule, I've been doing a few things differently as I've been planning for it. The main thing is I really want to focus on more sustainable clothing options for it. So for me, that means shopping mostly secondhand, either at vintage stores or eBay or Buffalo Exchange or Goodwill. And it's been a really fun experiment for me to see how I can kind of gather these things from different decades and still make them look current and you know make them my style and it's been really fun and I'm excited to share that with you guys in my fall capsule. So that was my look back at my first capsule. Honestly, I love this project and I love that it's helped me not think about clothes all the time and it's just so much easier to get dressed in the morning when I have fewer options and options that I love and things that will look good together. So it's been awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't so that you can get my fall capsule wardrobe video right to your inbox. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!